Hi everybody, this is Haley from MightyMolds.com and today we are going to be testing our newest prototype which is a 4 bar silicone soap mold. This is our latest prototype which includes a Mighty Multiplier and two end caps making it the world's first fully modular soap mold. Let's go ahead and begin. Here we have our Mighty Mold. This is the first prototype to feature external connectors which allow Mighty Molds to be connected together. Here you have an end cap with internal connectors which keep everything together. Here is the other end cap with more internal connectors and here's the big guy, the mighty multiplier which allows you to incrementally increase your pores. Now the whole goal behind mighty molds was to be able to create fully contoured 3D bars of soap like this one in a single pour. We actually didn't have enough of these bars poured when we had made this prototype, so we had to use some square bars from previous stock, but the next prototype will definitely use a fully contoured bar of soap. Next we have our soap base. We're using a hodgepodge of bases we had lying around here. So you'll see some crystal clear, some hemp seed oil, uh, there's some goat's milk base, and you may even see a little honey in there as well. Here we have our micas. These are actually from Brambleberry, but we just throw them in these little window jars and it makes it easier to store them and kind of see the colors before we use them. Finally, we have the fragrance oil from Candle Science. This is actually fragr fragrance oil we use to make candles, but Candle Science is also really good about labeling their products and the uses. You'll see here it's for good for candles and bath and body. All right, so I guess we're good to go ahead and get started on the pour. We'll use a little Mighty Magic to get everything ready. Okay, so we've got all our soap base melted and the color and fragrance oil added. So we'll start pouring. Here it might be important to note that you want to make sure you close your Mighty Mold fully. Uh, during our first pour, we had not fully closed this mold after opening it to demonstrate it to you guys, and we had a little bit of leakage issues. But as you can see, uh, we're about two bars into this pour now, and there is no leaking at all, and that's simply because we made sure to close the mold. This mold was made using the dragon skin silicone that you see in the back there. Uh, it's a smooth on product and we could not ask for a better silicone uh, to use for, for our prototyping. Alright, so we're just about done pouring here. This should make four nice fully formed bars of soap. And now I guess all we have uh, left to do is wait for it to set up. It's been long enough now for the soaps to set up, so we'll go ahead and just start unmolding them. As you can see, I moved this mold and there's been no leakage at all, so we are absolutely good there. I'm going to start peeling off this end cap here, and I'm going to be really delicate about how I do it this first time. Uh, but honestly, with the square shape of these bars, I could most likely just rip this thing right off and there wouldn't be any issues at all. Alright, so the first cap is off and it released from the bars of soap really well, very easily. So now we just have to get these first bars out before we take the mighty multiplier off of the second end cap see just with a little bit of wiggling the bars come right out of the mold really easily. We'll get the second bar out. Again just with a little wiggling and, and bending of the mold they come right out. We are seeing here that we probably should have used just a little bit more soap to make sure that these bars became fully formed. Uh, looks like the tops got a little bit underdone so we'll probably try to make sure we pour a little bit more the next time. I was a lot less delicate that last time. If you saw 
I just kind of pulled the mold right apart and it didn't have any issues at all. And we'll get this last bar of soap out and we have now created four fully formed bars of soap from one silicone soap mold and uh, I think you'd agree that that was a pretty easy process. Thanks for watching and if you could make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and visit the website at MightyMolds.com.